Like in the New Testament, Jesus, when he called his 12 disciples, they were a diverse group from all kinds of backgrounds. We see that same kind of community that come together here as people identify their brokenness and their hurts, and they come together to become a community of trust, of healing, of transformation. It's a beautiful thing to see men come together in a way where you wouldn't see it naturally happening. They come from such different backgrounds and such brokenness that they don't trust each other, but here they find healing and recovery as they walk in this together. When I think about people coming together in community, one of the examples that often comes to mind for me is the story of Dustin and Jake. I got into my addiction really recreationally, um, just finding something to do, um, pass the time or to have fun, I guess, um, with my friends. But you know, flash forward 10 years from then, um, I was in an absolute terrible place. Um, it was like a huge dark cloud just surrounding my life uh, with nowhere to go but down. Um, I had lost my family, um, my job, uh, scholarship to college, um, and I would pretty much accepted the fact that I was going to die in addiction. There was an extreme amount of conflict within my family, especially between my mom um, and me. There were a, a large amount of arguments all the time over where the money was going and my intentions for the future and bettering myself and program after program that she took me to and paid for and like you know, worked and struggled through that with me with just no avail whatsoever. Uh, one day we were driving through the town and I actually had warrants and she was nice enough to pick me up and take me to a friend's house and uh, we're arguing about like the future and my decisions and you know the the things that I've done in the past and right then and I'm asking her for money obviously uh, one last time and uh, we're driving down through the middle of town on Pennsylvania Avenue actually and behind like a, a bar there's a guy that's that's sitting there living in the alley and um, she turns and looks at me and she says if I don't straighten up I'm gonna end up just like him and it, it didn't really make much sense to me at the time and you never think that you're gonna end up like that you think you're better than that or stronger than that or you have uh, uh, better opportunities than that but um, it, it actually really stuck with me then and I remembered his face from then on the the funny thing is whenever I got here I was really afraid and scared and like um, I felt so alone, but I get here, and whenever I finally get to Mo Track, motivational track, I recognize the, the the guy from my city that my mom had pointed out to me in the program there with me. He was working in the kitchen. I was that guy. I was lost, homeless, broken, confused, and isolated from the world um, in a very, very dark place. I woke up every day just to try to get high and uh, did not care about anything or anyone, and I, had, I was hoping not to wake up. Jake was, uh, you can tell he was struggling, he was fearful, uh, same as I was, and, I, and so I went and told him that it's gonna be okay and we help each other through this. And uh, the other guy that came with him left, and uh, Jake was really th having the same thoughts of throwing in the towel and heading back home too. I never knew that God would continue to put us together, to walk this out together. To strengthen each other. Today it's amazing. Um, going through the program, our friendship blossomed into more of a brotherhood than anything. That bond and that brotherhood was what helped me and pushed me to complete this program and to work through a lot of the things I was really struggling with. He's really helped me become a better man, a better husband. It's really helped blossom my belief and my following in Jesus Christ because whenever I came to the program I, I didn't necessarily believe One of the things that happens in a program like this is we try to, a lot of times, control the outcomes, we try to manage things. But if God does His work, if God intervenes in their life, they can find hope, healing, friendship, and restoration in a way that none of us could have imagined. I'm extremely grateful for St. Matthew's House and Justin's Place. It's helped me uh, develop a relationship with Jesus Christ. It's helped me discover the man I truly am. It's helped me uh, just be happy where I'm at. I, I'm just. I won life's lottery here.
Going back to that conversation that day in the, the car with my mom, she was both right and wrong. Um, I did turn out to be just like him, but in the best way possible because I'm more like Christ.